Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to do a concentration problem. Here we're asked what is the molar concentration of 24.3 grams of sodium carbonate is dissolved in enough water to make 250 milliliters of solution. Then we're asked what are the concentrations of sodium ions and carbonate ions. So what we have here is remember we need to define molarity and molarity is the moles of solute per liter of solution. So what we have is we have the volume of the solution. So let's see, the volume is 250 milliliters, but we'll go ahead and convert that to liters. So we just uh, divide that by a thousand and we have 0.25 liters. Now, we're given the grams of sodium carbonate, so we need to convert from grams to moles. So for sodium carbonate, we have 24.3 grams. And the molar mass of sodium carbonate is, one mole is 106 grams. So we can go ahead and calculate the number of moles. And this works out to be 0 0.229 moles of sodium carbonate. So now we have our moles, we have our volume, so now all we need to do is divide. So we have 0.229 moles divided by 2.5 liters and that's going to give us 0.917 molar. So our solution is 0.917 molar. Now in the second part we are asked what are the concentrations of sodium ions and carbonate ions. So what we have is sodium carbonate and remember one mole of sodium carbonate is going to produce two moles of sodium ions and one mole of carbonate ions. Alright so what we have here is we have a solution that is 0.917 molar, so that means the concentration of sodium ions is going to be 2 times 0.917 molar. That will be 1.83 molar in sodium ions. And of course, um, one mole of sodium carbonate only produces one mole of carbonate ion. So the concentration of our carbonate ion will be equal to 0.917 molar. Now, let's go to another problem. So here we're asked how many grams of potassium chloride is needed to prepare 100 milliliters of solution that has a concentration of 0.35 molar. Well, Let's go ahead and start off. We'll write our equation here our, for molarity, and that's moles per liter. Here we're given the volume, and we're also given the molarity. So what we can do is we can solve for the number of moles. So the number of moles will be equal to the molarity times the volume. So let's go ahead and convert the 100 milliliters to liters. We just divide that by a thousand and we end up with 0.1 liter. So now we're ready to go. The number of moles will be equal to the molarity which is 0.35 and we'll just write moles per liter times 0 0.1 liters and that is going to be 0 0.035 moles. 
So now all we have to do is convert moles to grams because we're asked how many grams. So the molar mass of KCl, uh, one mole of KCl is equal to 74.5513 grams. So we're all set here. So we have 0 0.035 moles of potassium chloride. And we know that one mole is equal to 74.5513 grams. And this gives us 2.61 grams of potassium chloride. So this means that we would need 2.61 grams of potassium chloride to prepare 100 milliliters of a solution that is 0.35 molar. Anyway, I hope this helps and we'll see you next time.